Hi, I'm Grant with Rig Handcraft Distilling. We're going to try some new cocktails out. Ken and Jessica are going to help us with these new recipes and we're going to go from there and they make some very, very fantastic recipes. Today we're going to use the Brum sugar beet rum. Uh, no, now today we're making what's called a jungle bird, which is actually a tiki drink. We're gonna put two ounces of rum in that. Now most tiki drinks actually have multiple different kinds of rum in this. Okay. But we found that the rum has a very complex taste to it. Yeah. So we just use the one type. You don't need anything except rum. Yeah, usually <laughs> uh, there's a half ounce of Campari as well. Usually the Jungle Bird actually has molasses rum in it, but the okay. significant molasses taste to the brum already. So right. it worked well for that. That's what we use to ferment to make our brum, is oh. molasses. Excellent. Sugar beet molasses. So we'll put two ounces of pineapple juice as well, three quarters of freshly squeezed lime juice, and then one ounce of simple syrup, which is what we talked before is half white sugar and half water, just boiled on your stove. So a question for you, Ken, have you yeah. ever used brown sugar to make a simple? Yes, we have. Sir? Yeah, absolutely. It's depending on what the cocktail needs. What the cocktail needs. Yeah. So. Definitely different flavor and taste in both of those. We've mm -hmm. used all sorts of different simple syrups. It's Demerara uh, is used, a commonly used ingredient, and we can make a simple syrup out of that, and it's like a really dark Okay, okay. Just curious. Yeah, if you're looking to add a little complexity or molasses flavor or something, it's yep. a really good way of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it really does make a difference if you're using fresh citrus versus store-bought citrus. Now right. The Santa Cruz uh, version is pretty good if you don't want to do it fresh, but fresh is definitely the way to go. It makes a huge difference. All right. It's got a really nice color to it from the combination. Yes, very nice the looking. Campari and the brown. Add a little fresh pineapple some tail feathers for the jungle bird. There we go. All right, Grant, time to try the jungle bird. That looks really nice. There's no feathers on it. Well, there is, but it looks good. <laughs> Something different. Very nice, very nice, nice flavors. Very, very, very tasteful. You wouldn't want to have too many of those. Yeah, they're pretty <laughs> strong. They are strong. It's almost Excellent. like being on vacation somewhere else in the middle of winter. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Thank you very much. Join us on our next episode so we can host these two with some more nice drinks. Thank you.